Apple unveiled the Apple Watch Ultra, a rugged timepiece made to withstand the rigors of trail running, hiking, diving, and rock climbing. Well, hello guys. It's Sam. Welcome to Tech Today, hit that subscribe button and notification to get new updates about gadgets and tech. Compared to the Apple Watch 8, which the company recently announced, it features a more durable design with a titanium case, sapphire crystal lens, programmable button, and digital crown that can be operated while wearing gloves. Naturally, that prompted comparisons to Garmin, which manufactures a variety of watches for outdoor adventure and diving, including the recently released Garmin Enduro 2. In response, Garmin poked fun at its new competitor in a fairly crude manner. We measure battery life in months, not hours, the sports watch manufacturer claimed in a tweet that was posted on its official Twitter account. The tweet also included promotional images of the Enduro 2, which has a maximum battery life of 46 days in smartwatch mode or 550 days in battery saver mode. The Apple Watch Ultra, in contrast, has a battery life of 36 hours under normal use. It will be increased to 60 hours by a future firmware upgrade that includes a low-power mode. The two watches have very different battery lives, but by comparing their specifications, you can understand where the differences are. First, there are the displays. The Apple Watch Ultra has an always-on a mold screen, which uses a lot more power than the color memory and pixel display of the Garmin Enduro 2. This is likely one of the main reasons the Ultra has such a brief battery life, but it's an expected part of the Apple experience, so the company couldn't really trade it for something more energy efficient. Both watches offer multi-band GPS, the Apple Watch Ultra also has LTE, allowing you to make calls and use mobile services. Apple's battery life figures include some mobile data usage and a GPS-tracked workout, whereas Garmin's smartwatch-only figures do not. Unlike the Apple Watch Ultra, the Enduro 2 has photovoltaic material on its face that keeps its battery topped up with regular exposure to sunlight. It's currently difficult to incorporate solar charging into an Amold watch, though recently registered patents suggest Garmin is working on it. The Enduro 2 also appears to have a larger battery than the Apple Watch Ultra. Despite lacking an LTE module, Garmin's watch is a bigger and a little heavier. That's not to say that either watch is superior, though, it all depends on how you intend to use it. Share your thoughts and comments below. I hope you found our content interesting. And if you did please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.